now before we move ahead there are certain lingos uh, certain terms that we need to know about and those are regions and availability zones so what exactly is a region and what is an availability zone now region is a geographical location and an availability zone are data centers inside the geographical location for instance there might be a region called us east and inside that there might be data centers for instance in atlanta new york and those data centers are the availability zones inside region us east so that's just an hypothetical example so now you know what are regions and what are availability zones so if you look at this url uh, there is this region and availability zone map and you can see over here those circles in orange are the regions and the number inside that circle shows us the number of availability zones inside that particular region for instance north virginia region has five availability zones and then there are regions all across the globe for instance there's a region in sao paulo and frankfurt and sydney and as you can see called the green circle indicates the region that is coming soon now in addition to regions and availability zones there is a aws gov cloud which is actually also a region but the gov cloud can only be used by us government so only the us government entities can use the gov cloud because they need to follow certain requirements now let's look at edge location what is an aws edge location so if you scroll down a little bit in this on this page you can see that those blue dots in north america those are the edge locations now edge locations are used for services that amazon offers but you cannot place a resource in that edge location but we can consume services located at that particular edge location for example amazon's dns uh, which is also called route 53 which has a 100% SLA and their DNS is always up and running. So everywhere there is an edge location, Amazon has a DNS server, for example. Say then for a, if a user is in Australia and he or she is trying to resolve a web location and then he or she will hit the DNS server closer to Australia instead of going all the way across to, let's say, United States. So DNS is an example of a type of things Amazon uses at edge location. So the idea here is that edge locations are not locations where you can place a resource, but they are locations where you can consume some of the AWS services. In this map over here, you can see the edge locations for North America. If you scroll, scroll down, you will see the edge locations in South America and there are other edge locations as well. So here in this in North America section, you can see that in US East, there are five availability zones and in US West, there are three availability zones. They've also shown that in GovCloud, there are two availability zones. So depending on your region, you can check from this on this page how many availability zones are available. Now, it's important to note that Amazon does not uh, give the actual locations of their data centers. Now, in North America, if you want to see the details of services offered, we can click this link and it will take us to this table, the region table, where we can see what services offered in which region. So you can see the list of services and those blank spaces indicates that that service is not available in that particular region. For instance, uh, Amazon API Gateway is only available in North Virginia and Oregon and it's not available in the other regions. And Amazon's DynamoDB is available in all the regions in Amer North America. So this table helps you find services that are available in particular region. Also, 
when amazon launches a new service it may start with a particular region and if it's successful it may expand that service to different regions or all the regions so that's also one thing to note so in this uh, video we saw what are regions availability zones and edge locations and we also saw where the regions are located uh, roughly